Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. Today's video is all about sunscreen. I am so excited that SkinStore.com reached out to me and asked me to partner with them on this video because sunscreen is so, so important for everyone to use every single day. If you're new here, my name is Trina. I've just turned 46 years old. I make videos about skincare and beauty devices. So if you're interested in these topics, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel before you leave. I also have a private Facebook group all about beauty devices and I'm on TikTok and Instagram Instagram. I'll leave links to all of that down in the description in case you're interested. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and like I said before, sunscreen is so important. When SkinStore.com reached out about this video, I was able to pick out the sunscreens that I wanted to try and tell you about today, and it was like a dream come true. Back in my 20s, I would have been just as excited about lip gloss, and now in my 40s, I am so excited about sunscreen because I didn't wear much sunscreen in my 20s. I'm so concerned with protecting my skin from the sun because I'm always doing treatments and skincare and beauty devices, trying to brighten up hyperpigmentation on my skin, protecting my skin from the sun, trying to avoid skin cancer. That is just so, so important to me. All the work that I'm putting in to my skincare, making my skin look more youthful and brighter, I don't want to reverse those effects by going out in the sun. A lot of these treatments and and serums and creams and devices do make your skin more sensitive to the sun. And I wear a lot of retinol as well. And you really have to be careful protecting your skin from the sun. And if you're watching this and you are in your 20s, I'm jealous because you have the opportunity to really start taking care of your skin now in your 20s and your 30s. I wish that I had worn more sunscreen back then because now all the effects of being out in the sun, not wearing a hat, not wearing sunscreen, is really showing up on my face. Now when I'm outside, I always wear a hat, sunglasses, SPF, I like to wear at least an SPF 30, and I like to reapply every two hours when I'm outside. Or if I'm like gonna be outside driving in my car, if I'm working in front of a window, if there's any sun exposure, I'm always reapplying every two hours. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, 50s, 60s, it doesn't matter how old you are, it's very important to protect your skin from the sun, wear sunscreen every single day. And I wear it on my face, on my ears, on my neck, on my chest, on the backs of my hands, on the tops of my feet. And I'm always wearing a hat, but for some reason, if I'm not wearing a hat, I'll even put some in my heart, like on my scalp. So always I wanna be protected from the sun. I got to go to skinstore.com and pick out six of my favorite sunscreens. Most of them were new to me and I got to test them out. I'm gonna to talk to you about all of them. I have information down below with links and codes so that you can save 25% on all of the sunscreens with the exception of Elta MD. This one has its own promo code. You can find out how much you can save when you check out on the website. Sunscreens from Ren. La Roche-Posay, PCA Skin, Kirsten Florian, and Arcona. All of the sunscreens have different SPF. The minimum I have today is an SPF 30 because I don't wear less than a 30 SPF. And they go all the way up to SPF 60. Some are chemical, some are mineral, some are a mixture of chemical and mineral. But I have a really, really great mixture. Some have skincare benefits built in. One is a mineral powder that you can take with you on the go to reapply every two hours. I really tried to pick a group of sunscreens that had something to offer everyone. So you'll definitely be able to find something that you'll love from all of these sunscreen products. I'm gonna show you all of the sunscreens. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand so that you can see the consistency. I'm gonna put them on my bare skin one at a time so that you can see how they absorb and look on my skin. So hopefully that will help you decide which ones you want to buy. This is a limited time sale, so make sure you hurry to skinstore.com using my links down in the description and promo codes to save while the sale is going on. This is such a great opportunity to stock up during Skin Cancer Awareness Month and because we're heading into summer. Hopefully you'll have plenty of opportunities to be outside of the sun, having fun, but staying protected by wearing a sunscreen. So I'm gonna go take off my makeup. I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna show you all of the sunscreens for today. This one is Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. It calms and protects acne prone skin. It has high purity niacinamide, transparent zinc oxide, and UVA UVB protection. This is for skin types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. I always see that Elta MD is dermatologist recommended online on social media, and I know this product is very, very popular, so I was really excited to try it out. It feels really, really nice going on the skin. It feels lightweight. It looks a little bit thick, but when you put it on, it feels really lightweight, and it really does absorb into the skin. It has a clear finish, so it doesn't leave any white cast once you rub it in. And I love that it's for acne prone skin because I definitely 
have oily combination acne prone skin and I deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation. Next is this Ren Clean Skin Care Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. It is a mattifying face sunscreen with broad spectrum. This one is a little bit thicker, almost feels like a mattifying primer, which I really love. It smells really, really amazing. Since this one is all mineral, it does seem to leave a little bit of a white cast. However, once I put some makeup over it or some tinted moisturizer, I didn't notice any problem with white cast. I really like how this makes my skin feel really, really matte and I love how it smells. This next one is La Roche-Posay Broad Spectrum SPF 60 and it's oil-free. Anthelios Clear Skin. It is a dry touch sunscreen with UVA, UVB protection and antioxidants. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. It's fragrance free, paraben free and tested on sensitive skin. I love that this one is a really high factor of 60. This one is a chemical sunscreen. This one feels pretty thick for a chemical sunscreen. Surprisingly so. It has much more of a standard sunscreen scent that you would expect. I love how there's no white cast after you work it into your skin. I love that it's oil free and it definitely has a dry touch. It doesn't feel greasy or oily at all. I really, really like how this one feels. This one from PCA Skin is Weightless Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 45. It's a mix of mineral and chemical sunscreen. This one feels really, really lightweight. I love how it feels on the skin. It feels more like a moisturizer to me and less of a sunscreen, but you're still getting that SPF 45 protection. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I want it to be realistic. Like you should be putting on enough sunscreen so that you're protected from the sun. And you always wanna make sure to get your neck and your ears as well. I just, I love how this feels going on my skin. My skin actually feels really hydrated and it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't have any white cast to it. As you see, like I rub it in my hand and my face, it does not have a white cast. If you're not sure how much sunscreen you should apply, I like to do the two finger rule where you can apply sunscreen along two of your fingers it's about the amount of sunscreen that you need to apply to your face when you're getting ready in the morning. And then this one is Kirsten Florian. It's Correcting Multivitamin Day Cream in SPF 30. It is a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. And this one does feel like a really luxurious moisturizer. I really, really love how it feels. I love how it smells. It smells really clean. And it is zinc oxide, so it's physical but it doesn't leave much of a white cast. I found it to blend in really, really easily on my skin. You can see here, it doesn't leave much of a white cast. Actually, it doesn't leave any white cast. I really, really, really like this sunscreen a lot. I love all of these sunscreens. <laughs> I'm really excited. I picked them all out to test and I really love them all. And then lastly, I get asked all the time, how are you supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two hours if you're out and about or if you're already wearing makeup? And that's why I wanted to feature this sunscreen. This is Arcona. It's their nearly invisible SPF 30 dry mineral powder. It says breathable dry minerals provide natural SPF 30 sun protection. So all you have to do is pump it once at the back here. There's a button and you just pump it once and you can see some of the powder. And that's what you want because I, have used other brushes like this in the past and it's hard to see if there's any product coming out but this definitely the product comes out what i would generally do is use one of these sunscreens that i have featured today when i'm getting ready in the morning and then i would use this every two hours while i'm outside or i'm out and about or i'm driving or even if i'm at home and i don't want to mess up my makeup look i don't want to put like a white sunscreen over my makeup this is such a good product and i really really love how easy it is to apply i love how it really does look transparent. It doesn't give me like a over powdered look. I generally recommend just to brush it lightly all over your entire face, your ears, your neck. If you don't have a hat on, you could even do your part, but I always have a hat on outside. And then the back of your hands. I really, really love this product. I'm so happy that I found it and I got to test it out. So if you asked me which one of these is my favorite, it's too hard for me to pick. I love them all. I think I love the way the Ren one smells the most. I love how mattifying it is. This I love for on the go. 
the brush on one. It all comes down to price and formula. If you're looking for a mineral sunscreen only or a chemical sunscreen only or a mix between chemical and mineral, there's lots of options here. I think if you have oily combination skin like I do or you have acne prone skin, these four are gonna be your best bet. The Elta MD, the Ren, La Roche-Posay, and the Arcona Brush-On. If you have drier skin or you're looking for something that's more of a moisturizer type of sunscreen, I would recommend the PCA Skin or the Kirsten Florian. But these two products did work great on my oily combination skin, and I have used this PCA product in the past, and I've used Every Last Drop. I love it. So it does work for that skin type, but it just depends if you're looking for something more moisturizing or something more mattifying. If you are a clean beauty fanatic, I really think that the Ren one is the way to go because it has no silicones, no chemical UV filters. I think this is the cleanest of all of the products that I showed here today. And if you're looking for skincare benefits combined with a sunscreen product, then the Kirsten Florian one would be a really great pick. But I would love to know from you in the comments which one of these sunscreens is your favorite, which one do you wanna try? Have you tried any of these before? Let me know in the comments what's your skin type and what's your favorite sunscreen and which of these sunscreens have worked for you so we can help other people who are watching this video. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about these products or shopping them at a discount, head down to my description below. I have links and promo codes for all the products. I hope that you have a really great summer and that you stay protected from the sun. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful. Give it a like, leave a comment, share it with a friend. I will see you in the next video. Bye!